now. Wait a minute, that means that... That means every time you were going all googly eyes over naked Schwarzenegger, every time you said you wanted to fuck him and was all, oh, I, I like him, every time you were all sexualizing him and being all, um, swoothy about him and being like, oh, I want to have sex with him, it wasn't because you're gay, it's because you want to fuck yourself. It's not homosexuality, it's masturbation. Yes, I, I yes, that that is that is exactly the reason why I can I I just want to fuck myself so bad. I I I I, I, I you make me sick, sir. Ugh. I I um, I for one am glad about the uh, legalization of uh, gay people uh, having sex. Well, no, that's not what it's legalized. What was legalized is uh, that they get to marry now. Can they still have sex? Yes. Well, doesn't marriage, like, cause them to not have sex? Yes. Oh, no! Oh! Okay, this is getting really weird. But anyway, you, sir, disgust me. Hey, you, sir. I, I thought you were a good person. I thought you were just uh, showing off your independence and, and whatnot. But it turns out, no, you're just a freaking horny asshole. Aren't we all horny assholes? Yes. Ugh. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, whatever. So, anyway, so, yes, um, so, 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 this is weird now. We've come into a weird paradox now. Yes, I, 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 now we are getting to the point where, uh, where I already know what happens. But wait a minute, I don't know what happens next. Yes. And if you do know what happens next, uh, if I do recap uh, the, the following information, it might affect the timeline, which means that this movie will never happen. So let's keep going. Wait, wait a minute. You want this movie to never happen? Well, well, I'll get into my true opinions on this movie once we're done with the recap. So anyway, so um, so the two naked people are, are, are forced to put on their clothes. Good. Damn it, that's the last bit of nudity here. So anyway, um, so they're taken to the hospital, and they're arrested, and they're like, okay, you guys are being arrested for, uh, for trying to explode the highway and being naked, but mostly for being naked. And so they get their fires, and they're like, hey, uh, you are, uh, Sarah Connor. You, you disappeared for a long-ass time, and we're not going to acknowledge the fact that you're freaking the same age. But you, Kyle Reese, you, on the other hand, um, are a little boy. Well, what are you doing being this man looking like Captain Boomerang? What the fuck is going on? And so, um, and so these are police uh, officials telling them this. And what they uh, do not realize is that J.K. Simmons has gotten his ass into this movie. And J.K. Simmons is like, hey guys, wait a minute. I'm that guy from earlier. I'm that policeman who, uh, who was clearly a setup for something and is now being paid off. I was that policeman for 30 years ago. And I remember you two guys. And uh, Captain Boomerice is like, oh, yeah, I remember you. I'm going to fight Sarah Connor now. And then the J.K. Simmons is like, oh, you, you don't care about me? Fine. I'm going to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They want me to be J. Jonah Jameson again. Or at least just the fans do. And if they don't make me J. Jonah fan, J. Jameson again, uh, there's probably going to be giant riots and people will probably die. Okay, bye. So, um... So John Connor gets himself free uh, from the handcuffs at the hospital, and uh, Sarah Connor is also freed, and, um, and, and, and she frees himself, and is like, oh, great, more character development, I guess. Like, she's independent. She's independent. She doesn't need no help from some Captain Boomerang motherfucker. And, and they're like, okay, so let's do this. Let, let's try to escape, and let's try to destroy Cyberdyme. Exactly how, like how they did in Terminator 2, except this time it's in 2017. And, uh, and, and then all of a sudden, they're like, nope! Uh, you, you, you think that we're gonna turn this movie from a remake, uh, of, uh, the 1984 movie into a remake of the 1997 movie? Nope, fuck you, we're adding another friggin' twist. And this is a twist that was spoiled in the trailer, so it has no, um, a shock effect to us whatsoever. Yes, it, uh, I, I, I'm what's worse is that it's a twist in, within a twist. Yes, it's two twists. 
The first twist is that John Connor is here. Yes, he somehow got back into the present along with uh, Kyle Reese in, from the future. So he shows up in a business suit and he's like, hey, guys, I'm in a business suit. What's rolling, uh, Captain Boomerice? So he hugs Captain Boomerice and is like, hey, I'm back. And uh, and Captain Boomerice is like, wait a minute, how the fuck did that happen? I didn't know this movie was going to have more twists. And, and, and John Connor is like, don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to find out the explanation eventually. I mean, it's going to be freaking fucked up, but you're going to find it out, uh, unlike the uh, explanation behind um, the uh, behind the original Terminator and T and T one thousand coming back from the future to uh, further in the past, that's still going to be left ambiguous. But my explanation on the end will be explained. But first, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, hi, mommy. Hello, mom, who's a lot younger, decades and decades younger than me. Uh, how's it hanging? And so, um, and so you have a very nice scene of Sarah Connor meeting her son. For the first time, even though he's middle-aged and she's in her early twenties, uh, late twenties, I should say. Uh, so anyway, um, but they're like, okay, let's n n let's get the fuck out of this hospital. Wait a minute, I need to see if you really are John Connor. I'm John Connor. Okay, good enough for me. So anyway, they go um into the uh into the into the parking lot and 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 they're trying to uh, escape and they're like, hey, wait a minute, where's Pops? Where's old Terminator? Oh, there he is, and he has a giant teddy bear. Oh, that's great. Oh no, he shot the teddy bear. Oh no, he also shot my son. What the fuck? And Captain Boomerice is like. God damn it, Terminator. I knew you were always evil from the get-go. How could you? Oh no, you're choking me. And 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 uh and, and Sarah Connor's like, why are you choking him? And Terminator's like, I'm trying to build tension in this scene. God, well, why can't I just build some drama? By the way, the reason why I uh the reason why I shot John Connor is because he's a robot! Yes! This is the twist. This is the big ass twist that should have been um a a a, a, a big, you know, mind boggling like holy shit type twist in this movie but for some fucking reason someone had to have the big idea of spoiling it in all of the trailers or the second trailers anyway and then someone had a bigger idea probably the same fucker who uh, also thought hey let's not only spoil this in the trailers let's spoil it everywhere every possible way we uh, advertise this movie let's include this plot twist uh, let's make sure that nobody is surprised by this let's sure that th this boggles no minds whatsoever. The, the, the filmmakers probably were not intending for this to be already known. They were probably into, probably were definitely intending for this to be a mind bending twist, and we are completely ruining it. And um, because fuck the filmmakers, we just want to sell a bunch of fucking money, so let's fucking do it. Well, if it's for money, then why not? Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, you're beginning to show off your true colors, Mr. Freeze. No, my true color is blue. True color. Don't be afraid. True colors. True colors. That was weird. So anyway, um... So yes, it turns out that John Connor is but has been turned into a robot. And at first they think, oh well, well duh, he was probably a he's probably a robot disguising as him. Robot in disguise as John Connor. But no, Terminator, uh, old Terminator, senior citizen Terminator says no, he's not disguised as John Connor. He is John Connor. You see what happened was um the Matt's. Then we ha have an explanation for that Matt weird Matt Smith scene in the beginning. It turns out that Matt Smith um infected a uh, John Connor with a a, a disease. That replaces his entire um, anatomy to a cellular level level with nanobots. Yes, he uh, in, replaces all of his cells with nanobots. So now he's a robot. Yes, it is their worst nightmare. They can turn anyone into a robot now. It's not a matter of robots replacing humans. Now it's a matter of robots turning humans into robots. Oh, fuck. Yes, 
It was inevitable. It was where this uh, franchise was going. It was the next uh, logical step. Yes, but was it ste a step worth taking in the first place? Yes, for who the fuck asked you? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so, um... So, 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 so yes, so, 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 it, so it, the flashback reveals that Matt Smith is Skynet. Yes, the theories on the internet was true. That's who Sk Matt Smith was intended to play this whole time. And yes, it is a perfect casting choice to have Matt Smith be Skynet, and he's all uh, evil about it. He's like, yes, I'm Skynet. I'm Skynet. I'm Skynet, and you know, uh, infecting, uh, uh, infecting uh, 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 John Connor with his uh, robots disease. Hey, if you have robots disease, call your doctor for some prescriptions. Okay, we we don't want anyone dying from robots dis disease. I remember when my cousin died of robots disease. Wait a minute, they, they don't die of robot disease, they just become a robot. So anyway, yes, so that's how John Connor became an evil robot being, is because of Matt Smith, who is Skynet. Oh, oh, that's so awesome, the idea of Matt Smith, a former doctor, being Skynet. I hope they utilize it for all it's worth. Ah, I, 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 I don't think I do. Nope, they don't. Ugh. Hey, boy. Jesus fucking Christ. So anyway, um, god damn it. This was such a full freaking cool idea, Matt Smith being Skynet, and you don't fully utilize it. God damn it. So anyway, um, so, so, so yes, so, uh, so, uh, Swartz, so, um, middle-aged, uh, Terminator, sorry, not middle-aged, senior citizen Terminator now takes the two, uh, protagonists away to another secret base. Yes, another fucking secret base. Good God, this guy is, one of these guys happens to create secret bases. Yes, that is one of the hobbies I had. Oh, that's right, I forgot, you're, you're him. Uh, only this is in 2017, this is 2015. Oh my gosh, this is really confusing now. Does this mean that this continuity right now is in continuity with the movie? Don't think about it too much. The writers didn't. Uh, yeah, you're right, the writers did not think about this too much. So anyway, so they're, um, so, so, the, so, uh, middle, so, uh, senior citizen Terminator, uh, uh, sends them to this, uh, to another secret underground base, and there they have a change of clothes. Uh, by the way, up to this point, uh, from when they were naked to, to then, they were barefoot, so I guess that's what they were using to, uh, make, um, to, um, to, to, uh, compensate with the fact that they were quick, quickly, uh, not naked anymore, and you didn't get to, and you barely got to see much of their, Actual nudity, so like, hey, let's make it up by having them be barefoot the uh, whole time. Pretty sneaky, sis. Pretty sneaky. I don't know why I said that. So anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so they, so so they, so so they, um, so so they, uh, so they, uh, so they gear up. They get their gear together, and during this time, uh, we get a little bit of character development between, uh, d between uh, Kyle Reese and the Terminator. You know, uh, kind of developing like this, uh, so almost pseudo like friendship, like a father-in-law. Because you know, keep in mind that the Terminator is like, is he, he, he's like a Sarah Connor's a poppy, his pappy. Oh. Yes, Valley and Dearly. Oh, it is what saves the movie for you, doesn't it? Well, no, don't say otherwise. I love this movie so much. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Not only did you not turn out to be gay the whole time, we're just masturbating. Not only that, but also the whole reason why you like this movie so much is because you're in the movie, isn't it? Oh my god, you're just trying to whore the movie out because you want money. You're just advertising it. Yes, you found out my whole plot. I'm only here to advertise the movie. I, I, I... Ugh, that is evil. That is one of the most evil things ever done on this show. Oh my god. 
I must hand it to you, though, that is pretty uh, malevolent. But then again, I am a supervillain, so that kind of thing is actually uh, smiled upon. So good on you for being fucking um, hellishly evil. Thank you. Ah, I, 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 I. But, but, but still, it's freaking evil. Ugh. Hey. I mean, I, I mean, sure, as a supervillain, I'm like, oh, good job, sir. But as a reviewer, I'm like, no, no, that draws a line. I have integrity as a viewer, good sir, and I'll explain my integrity as soon as we're done with this movie. So anyway, um, so after some more, you know, uh, so after some more obligatory, uh, the, uh character development, uh, they all get on a bus for some reason. There's a bus available, and they're like, okay, we're going on the magic school bus for a field trip. Run on the magic school bus! I put up on top! Run on the magic school bus! So anyway, um... So they ride the magic school bus across the uh, across the um, uh, across the Golden Gate Bridge uh, to the Cyberdyne Company, where they're creating Genesis. Yes, and the idea here is that Genesis is basically Apple. Yes, Genesis is Apple. Holy shit, that's a scary idea. My God, it Genesis is existing in real life the whole time as Apple. Oh my God. Yes, Genesis is a disguise. Is a is a cover for for our for, for Skynet. I, 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 I. Yes, so so it's disguising themselves as um, Genesis, which is basically this program that uh, will link everything together. Oh my God, it's the cloud. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, we're freaking all gonna die. I, I, I'm using a laptop to record this show right now. Oh no, this laptop's gonna kill me when we're done right now. I, uh, but you must keep going. I, 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 Yes, you're right. I should keep going. Oh, hey, laptop. Fuck you. I, I'm the master of you. God damn it. So anyway, um, so so they so they're headed to uh to uh Genesis slash Cyberdyne to uh, destroy it. And at that uh place, uh, it turns out that John Connor has uh has uh been affecting the timeline by helping a uh, Cyberdyne become the biggest company ever. Yes, he has made it a huge empire, and he's also allies with the Dysons. Yes, the Dysons are back. The vacuum people? No, not the vacuum people. The black people from the second movie. Yes, uh, the Dysons was a father and son who were in the second movie that were responsible for uh for starting uh, uh Cyberdyne in the first place due to some kind of weird paradoxical thing where the whole reason why they started Cyberdyne was because of the robot that came back in time and the whole reason the robot came in back in time was because of Cyberdyne. Oh, my head hurts. It's like that tattoo from Futurama. Its existence is because of a paradox. What the fuck? Yes, don't think about it too hard or your head will explode. Ah, 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 ah. So anyway, um... So yes, so he's helped uh, the uh, Dysons back, and unlike the uh, like the 1997 movie, in this one, the Dysons uh, actually freaking survived this time, especially Papa Dyson. He's okay, he's fine, he's he's doing good, he doesn't have to die in an explosion, and his son is no longer, you know, uh, controlling with a remote control thing. He's a full-grown adult, and he's all mature now, and whatnot, and he's like, yes, yes, I am an adult now, and I am working with John Connor. So John Connor is sort of a public figure now, and he's like uh, the, the the freaking businessman, and he's like, hey, wait a minute, stupid, um, stupid, 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 stupid Sarah Connor's on her magic school bus headed here to destroy things. I'm going to go ahead and jumpstart uh, uh, Cyberdyne. So he starts, um, so he activates a, uh, ch a little child hologram, a little child hologram. And as this little child hologram grows, it's, that's when Cyberdyne is officially launched. Oh my God. 
first day, um, first day we're remaking the first Terminator film. Now they're remaking Terminator 3. Yeah, it is kind of like uh, Terminator 3, you know, try a uh, race against time of, uh, of, uh, starting the, uh, st starting, uh, the judgment day by having, a uh, Cyberdyne begin. But the difference is, we don't have, um, the difference is we don't have Kate Brewster. Kate Brewster freaking is, is ignored in this movie. Yay, good! Kate Brewster was kind of annoying anyway. Well, she wasn't annoying in, uh, Terminator Salvation. You're true, but then again, uh, she wasn't anything in Terminator Salvation. She doesn't. She didn't really have much of a character in that. She was just like there to be a nurse, or something. So anyway, um, yeah, no character film there. So anyway, um, back to this movie, this movie right here. So uh, so so uh, so uh, evil John Connor goes destroying the Magic School Bus on the Golden Gate Bridge, freaking blowing it up to smithereens and. Sending off a uh, off of the uh, bridge into the ocean, but um, but luckily, uh, uh Terminator and uh, the two human protagonists survive, only to be freaking arrested by the police again. Ugh! The police always has to interrupt the protagonist in all of these movies. Well, they're just doing the what they think is best for the law. Screw that! I'm a super villain. So are you? Screw! Ah! 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 So anyway, um, so, uh, so J.K. Simmons comes back and is like, Hey guys, I'm here to, uh, remind you that I'm in the movie again. And, uh, yeah, uh, MCU rejected me or whatever. I don't know what's going on there, frankly. But anyway, yes, um, I'm here to continue to, uh, to voice my opinion on to, uh, in that I believe that you are from the future or something. I don't know what's going on, actually. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, uh, you, you, you robots. And, uh, and, and Sarah Connor is like, we are from the future, and and uh, and J and uh, J K. Sinem is like, okay, that's good enough for me. Uh, also, I hope this is good enough for the trailer too. Hello, uh, TV spots. So anyway, so she releases, uh, he releases them, and um, but but not before, uh, but not before uh, John Connor disguised as a lady. Oh, are you trying to tell us some John Connor? You trying to be a lady now? Shoots all of the uh, police. Oh, except for J.K. Sinems, I guess because he they was written that he has to survive. So anyway, um, so so John Connor continues his badass uh, fight with uh, the Terminator, with a uh, senior citizen Terminator. Uh, meanwhile, um, uh, the Kyle Reese as a child is there, you know, who has to identify adult Kyle Reese. Is like, that's not me. This is me. That's some weird adult trying to be me. Ho, 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 ho. Why do you sound like Mickey Mouse? I don't know why. So anyway, um, b b but the real reason why he's here is to contrive a reason for, uh, for, uh, Sarah Connor to be like, Hey, I'm going to tell you something that the, uh, Kyle Reese, adult Kyle Reese will remember later. Bye! I'm going to want to fuck you later. Uh, but, 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 but your adult counterpart, not, not, not your child counterpart. Go away, ch ch child, uh. Child Kyle Reese, you're not Captain Boomerang. Adult Kyle Reese is Captain Boomerang. You're just a small child. So anyway, um, okay, bye. Have fun with your parents. Oh, by the way, his parents are like, yay. So anyway, um, so back to the action in the uh in in the police. Um, J.K. Sinema is like, hey, I am gonna prove that I am warranted to be in this movie by giving you guys a freaking helicopter. So he gives them a helicopter so they can fly over to uh over to Genesis and uh, stop Cyberdyne from being launched. And so um they get on the helicopter and uh, J.K. Sinema is like, oh no, oh the oh the the, the 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 John Connor is shooting at me. Luckily, I'm surviving, so I can make it for a sequel. Yay, sequel! Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go star in the new King Kong movie. Oh, wait a minute. So anyway, um, so, so they're on the helicopter now, and somehow uh, John Connor gets his, a hold of his own helicopter. Helicopters on a helicopter, epic-ass helicopter, um, uh, and, uh, and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and, uh, old, uh, old senior citizen, uh, Terminator is like, okay, 
I, I have to go do a, a scene that'll be great for the trailers where I jump out of the, uh, uh jump out of the, um, helicopter, um, and like a tor human torpedo onto the, uh, evil helicopter. Hooray, trailers! Oh, by the way, I'll be back. Hooray! So he, so, so, so he, uh, human missiles himself into the, uh, helicopter, and they splash, make a splash, <laughs> um, so, so anyway, um, they make a splash, but 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 uh, but John Connor gets himself out of the uh, ocean and back into uh, Cyberdyne. Um, he gets his ass back into Cyberdyne so he can act. Sorry, Genesis. <laughs> I'm sorry, Apple. Oh, whoops! I meant to say Genesis. Uh, I you you have that he made that joke. Y y yes, I did. Uh, anyway, so he so he makes his way back to uh to Genesis to activate Cyberdyne, and Arnold Schwarzenegger gets his ass out too, and follows the two human protagonists into the building, and you know uh and uh fulfills one of his main purposes in this movie, which is um giving away exposition. He's like uh, yes, uh, as the uh, hologram child grows into Matt Smith, he'll become a uh, Cyberdyne, and then that'll be it for the whole world oh we gotta keep him from doing that it'll be judgment day it'll be terminator 3 all over again we can't let terminator 3 happen it was a shitty ass movie so anyway so they're chasing um so they're chasing john connor throughout all of this all of these um uh, all, all of these balconies and all of these uh places and stairs and stuff and there's this one part where um where, where john connor threatens to kill or uh, he threatens to kill um sarah connor and uh, and and all Schwarzenegger is, is all like um is all like oh what do I do oh and Kyle Reese is like don't worry I'll help you because we're a family we are family a robot and a the, the time traveler we are family fuck you John Connor you're not a part of this family. Neither are you, Hologram, who keeps uh, growing up. Yes, uh, during this uh, climactic battle amongst all of these balconies and stairs and stuff, uh, the, um... The hologram uh, gets older and older. First it's a child, then it's a teenager, then it's Matt Smith. So it's getting a little bit older with each uh, time. And at first he's like, yay, I'm a little kid, I'm a little kid. And then he's like, hey, I want an allowance. I, I want you to buy me stuff. And he's like, oh, you're embarrassing me. Promise tomorrow. Oh, oh, I'm so embarrassed by you. Oh, I want to go to college. And now he's like, I, I'm, I'm the doctor. Hey, let's go on. An adventure, and uh, also for some reason, uh, when Matt Smith is using a, uh, a, a an American accent, he sounds like Neil Patrick Harris for some reason. It's weird. It's like th th that's always the case with the you know. It's weird how a lot of British uh, actors sound when they turn into Americans. When when they try to sound American, they, they sound like American actors. Like like for. for like, like, like for some reason, um, I, I, I think, uh, I think, um, I, I, I think the guy who plays Harry Potter, uh, the, what, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Daniel Radcliffe. For some reason, when he tries to sound American, he sounds like a he, 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 he sounds like the guy who's gonna play Lex Luthor. For some reason, um, what the fuck is it? Jesse Eisenberg. What was the point of you mentioning that? Sorry, just a tangent. So anyway, um... So yes, uh, so so, so uh, despite the annoying hologram of uh, of Matt Smith, who sounds like Neil Patrick Harris, despite him, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Captain Boomerice and Sarah Connor get closer and closer to the main core, to to what uh, is the, going to be the ultimate weapon that they're developing in Cyberdyne, which is another fucking time machine. Yes, another fucking time machine. Also, a bunch of nanobots that are um forming a humanoids and during this time um uh, evil john connor is like uh, beating up on uh on uh, uh on uh, uh, uh senior citizen terminator telling him hey you're just an outdated model from a non-existing timeline yes so not only is uh, is a uh, uh, Senior Citizen Terminator old, but also his model never even existed. Ah, oh, that is the ultimate fuck you, isn't it? Yeah, 
So, so, so now, ter uh, 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 Senior Citizen Terminator is like, you know what? Fuck you! I'm so mad at you. I'm going to jump into that snow globe, even though we're, I'm not naked, and I, I, I have my medal exposed, and you have all of your medal exposed because for some reason, um. Uh, John Connor can't turn back into human anymore. Now he's a uh, completely um uh, he 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 looks like uh he looks like a muscular system now, except a gray metallic muscular system. He look he basically looks like Attack on Metal Ta Titan. He looks like a Attack on Ta a Titan uh metal version. By the way, that is getting an American dub and American release. Yeah, I know, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, live action Attack on Titan. So anyway, um... So, 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 uh, so Senior Citizen Terminator decides, you know what, I am going to do the thing that I need to do in every one of these Terminator films, which is to die at the end. And, of course, since there are two of which where I sacrifice myself, I'm gonna do the same thing in this movie. So he, so he grabs, um, Attack on Metal Titan and throws him into this glowing snow globe of time, along with himself, and is like, I save my daughter, keep my girl safe, finally showing that he does have um, a, f a soul in him. He is a good person, or, uh, instead of a robot. Well, he is a robot, but he does have feelings. Isn't that what the other two are doing? Yes, uh, but this one does it without saying, which I guess is okay. Yeah, that is fantastic. That is a, that, that is a masterpiece. Ugh. I, I have a feeling the only reason why you're saying all this positive stuff is because you're paid to. Yes, yes it is. I should have known. Actually, I already did earlier. I don't know why I forgot. So anyway, um, so so they freaking explode, you know, having the uh, mandatory ending where uh, the Terminator sacrifices himself. But uh, y y y but Sarah Connor and uh, and uh, Kyle Reese have to go and they have to uh, shield themselves away from the big ass explosion. And so they go into a little um, bunker and uh, during that explosion, all of Cyberdyne friggin explodes. All of it. All of Genesis 2. All of those billboards that were t t uh, that were counting down to the uh, to the launch of Genesis explode. Everything explodes. And so, just like in Terminator 2, everything Cyberdyne explodes. Except this time, um, except this time, the black guy did not have to die. He was off doing his own thing, I guess. Unless maybe there's a deleted scene where he's like, "Oh fuck, not this shit again." Except why would he say that when he doesn't remember the first time? I I don't freaking know. Anyway, um. So yes, so now that they're done, uh, Kyle Reese is okay with the fact that, uh, that, uh, with the fact that Sarah Connor, uh, forgot to mention to him that he dies. Also, he found out that she, that he dies. Whoops, I forgot to mention that. Ah, that's okay, what matters is that I am still alive! Yes, you're still alive! Hooray, I guess! Because you, you tur it turns out that you um, dropped into that little pool that was trying to create new Terminators out of nanobots. So basically, you've been turned into the T-1000. Yes, I am the T-1000 now. I had an upgrade. I, 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 uh, that makes no fucking sense, but whatever the hell. You, 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 you're cured, I guess. And you're also now a T-1000 or something. By the way, that's weird. Uh, who cares? It's called contrivance. Yes, the, this entire series owes itself to contrivance. I love it so much. Contrivance. Yes, and also because um, you all survived, uh, this, uh, they all survived, uh, you know, Sarah Connor, Kyle Reese, and the, the and the newly um, youngified Terminator, who's now a T one thousand, I I guess they're like, okay, now that we're done contriving that part, I guess that means we can hook up now, <laughs> smoochy smoochy. But first, they have to um they they have to uh complete the entire movie by um 
by going over to uh, to uh, Kyle Reese when he was a boy, and he's like, oh, by the way, um, we, we need to keep this plot hole from gaping, so, uh, so uh, I'm going to tell you some stuff, and you need to memorize it, and, um, and, and don't, don't ask why you need to memorize it, just memorize it. It's probably going to drive you the fuck nuts, but since I'm still alive, I guess I don't have to worry about that. So, okay, bye, smaller child who is me. I, I, how come when they met, the universe didn't crumble? Because it's not that kind of time travel movie, get damn it. Also, they didn't faint like in Back to the Future. So anyway, um, so yes. So after John, uh, after Kyle Reese, um, informs his smaller self of the, um, stuff that he has to remember, uh, thus making another contrivance. Oh, I love them so much. They're like, okay, now that we got this out of the way, that means we can finally live together as a family. And so Captain Boomerang returns into his narration form where he says, yes, I am a narrator again. I, I just remembered that I'm supposed to narrate this movie. And now I'm going to say that the future is not set anymore. The, the Cyberdyne was completely erased. It's all done now. There's nothing else to worry about. We're free now. This future is not set in stone. Hooray! No, fuck that! We need more sequels! We need Cyber Time to still be alive! No, this cannot happen! Ugh. Well, I guess you get your wish, Mr. Freeze, because then there's this mid credit sequence where there's this, uh, New Year's ball that's still alive, and the hologram of Matt Smith is like, ah! I'm going to be in the next movies to make up for barely being in this one. And that's the movie, everybody. That's Terminator Genesis. Oh, boy. Are you tired because of how incredibly awesome it is? No. I'm tired because, yes, there was a lot of action in this movie, and yes, this movie had a lot to offer, and yes, it did bring a lot more to the Terminator, um, lure, but it would cost. But what do you mean? Well, um, well, well it, it, it's at the cost of freaking logic, because I don't know why the fuck this happened. I, why is different than the first one? Is this a reboot, or is this actually, um, an in-continuity in time travel change? Like, what the fuck happened? Because at the beginning, uh, uh, John Connor, um... John Connor uh, mentioned that he remembered his mom telling him, or at least he, or at least he, uh, or at least he, uh, or at least he uh, hinted at that, which meant it was in continuity with the first one. But then I guess Cyberdyne got smart or something. What the fuck is going on? Uh, that'll be saved for the sequel. Oh uh, yeah, the sequel. It's already been scheduled for 2017, and then another one in 2018. Well, what the fuck? I'll tell you what it is. More movies! But why? I mean, I mean, I know maybe the the last one, uh, Terminator Salvation, wasn't worth uh, bringing back again. I mean, I know, I mean, I mean, I know that wasn't a movie that should have uh, ended the franchise on. You know, you wanted more. But was this really what we needed as a follow-up? This going back to the original and doing it all over again in a different way? Was that really the way to do it? Who cares if whether or not it was the right way to go? The fact is, it happened. It, it, it happened, and now we get all the money from it. I get to make more money. Yay, more money. Ah, uh, money. Yes, and that's what it's come down to it. They're just contriving ways. It doesn't matter about logic. In the first one, it was very just, and it was poetic, and all the logic made sense that all this would happen. I mean, sure, it doesn't make sense in hindsight, because, you know, it's a paradox, but it was an interesting paradox. You know, it was a poetic po paradox. Sure, it wasn't that logical, but at least it sacrificed logic for an interesting poetic story of irony and um, and romance, but mostly irony. It was a very well put together story. And the second one, sure, it didn't have a, as good of a well put together story. You know, um, a tight um, you know, a story of irony. It, it still had a lot to offer in the lore, and it still was a great high octane um, good ride. 
And, and it seems to me that this movie is trying to do that, but I don't feel that it's doing a poetic enough story that the first movie set such a big standard of for this movie to accomplish. And at the point, it's like... Um, was all of these contrivances really worth it? Was it really worth all these overcomplicated contrivances just to have another movie? My answer to that is fuck yes! Yes, it was worth it! I get to have a money shower and be naked in front of money! Yay! I, 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 I. And that is why I do not want you to rate this movie. Ah, uh, why not? Why won't you let me write the movie? Because you're not doing this out of really critiquing the movie. That's why I might admire you as a supervillain for doing that, but not as a reviewer. You can't just review a movie um, just to say good things about it so you get paid. You have to have integrity. You have to point out what's good about it and what's bad about it. And what's good, sure, is the um, is the family uh, idea, the, the character development. I actually like that, the family aspect of making this like a little a little sitcom family. I actually like that. And I I also, and I also like the, um, you know, the next step they take in the, the evolution, you know, making these robots into uh, nanobots now. That was interesting. But at the same time, was it really worth it? Uh, last uh, episode, I talked about how um, Jurassic World was, wor that was a uh, world, uh, n not the world in the title, uh, the actual world that the world is in. That was a universe worth getting back to, worth exploring more of. But I don't feel like this one was worth it, frankly. I feel like this one would have been fine uh, where it was. And to go back and keep doing it, I feel like if you're going to do that, why not have some integrity and just keep going with how it was, uh, just keep going from where Terminator Salvation stepped off. You know, um, try to uh, save it, you know, try to keep going. Don't just press the re reset switch and do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, I know this is something that um, that uh, X-Men and Star Trek have done, but they did it in a way that made sense. They did it with time travel. This, on the other hand, was time travel and it was rebooted at the same time or something or something they're saving for the freaking sequels. I, I don't know what the fuck, but the point is... They bother to bring back the whole Terminator franchise just to misrepresent it. Uh, what, what, what do you mean? It's exactly how it was before. The same exact amount of quality. All of them have been equally good. No, 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 you don't understand. There's something missing with this new Terminator. The, the, the idea of paying a price. The idea of sacrifice. I did not mean to rhyme, sorry. Nah, that's okay. So what are you getting at? What I'm getting at is that there's no feeling of of sacrifice in this one, or at least there's not that much of it this time. I mean, in the first movie, uh, we had the sacrifice of Kyle Reese. He died trying to save Sarah Connor. And, and in the second movie, we had the sacrifice of the good Terminator. And in the third one, well, we had the Terminator again, but this time we also had uh, uh, Kate Brewster's father and a bunch of random teenagers and a bunch of other people, I guess. And, and then the th in the fourth one, we had uh, the guy from Avatar die. So we got all of these tragic deaths, at the, and they were all meant to be the prices paid for victory. And that's something that I think this new interpretation, or reboot, or, or sequel, or whatever the fuck this is, is missing. It's missing that. It's missing the feeling of sacrifice. I mean, we get it from uh, Senior Citizen Terminator, you know, exploding himself, but then it turns out, nope, he fell into a magical hot tub that reinvigorated him and turned him into a T-1000, and Kyle Reese is still alive, but it's okay, because, you know, he doesn't he does have to be the same exact thing that happened before, you know, that, that that's okay that they kept him alive, but they should have killed somebody, they could have, ke should have kept that theme of sacrifice, uh, what about John Connor, John Connor died, he he was the one who died. Yeah, but at, at the end of the movie, Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese freaking hook up. So that could just mean that 
John Connor is going to be born again. And, and this time he'll be a better person or something. So it doesn't really feel like a death. It doesn't really feel that sad. Because we know he's just going to be born again. Uh, yeah, born again. Maybe not as a Christian, but still born again. And so that's why I don't like that they brought it back. That's why I feel like it was less worth bringing back. Because they weren't going to keep that theme of sacrifice. Uh, uh, it's to make people feel happy. If, if we killed any of the good characters, it would make people feel sad. It would make them sad and less likely to give us more money. Uh, 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 uh. But, but you don't understand. The other ones made a lot of money. And they were still sad. So what's your excuse? Uh, uh, the people of today are more sensitive. You have to care for them. You have to care for the little sensitive babies. Because then they'll give you the money. And then I can use that money to pay off child support payments. Uh, uh, uh. And that's what it all boils down to. Child alimony money. So anyway... Um, so, uh, should the good folks at home either watch this movie or get beaten by a car in the middle of a highway naked? Well, I think, no, no, I told you, you're not, it's not fair for you to rate the movie that you were a part of. So I am going to do it. I think you should get beaten up by a car in the middle of the highway if... If you think, if you truly love the original movie, you love it so much and you don't want to see it uh, be done with. You don't want to see it tampered with. Uh, you, you, you think it's too sacred. Also, the same thing for the, uh, f for the uh, second one. It doesn't matter whether or not you give a shit for the other two. But if you think that the first two are sacred and you don't want to see them tampered with at all, then, you know, get hit in the highway naked. But if you don't mind it being tampered with and you do want to see more stories, you know, you do want to see more stories, no matter how they do it, then sure, watch the movie instead. You know, avoid being hit by a car naked. So that's the movie, everybody. That's uh, Terminator Genesis. Okay, you promised me something, Mr. Freeze. You promised me, you promised me that you would tell me how to, um, you would, you would tell me how to um how to get Blednovsky back. You you told me that you knew a way to uh to uh bring Blednovsky back from the land of the missing. So tell me, how can I find Blednovsky? Help me find Blednovsky, Mr. Fees. Well, I'll tell you this, and I will only tell you this, since you didn't let me, uh, review, uh, since you didn't let me give you, give a rating, I am just going to tell you one thing, and then I'm gonna leave. Contrivance! You need to get him back with contrivance! Ah, man, he left! Ugh. Contrivance? What does he mean by that? You mean I need to contrive a way for him to come back? Well, I mean, if I... I, I mean, it, any way I bring him back would be contrivance. God damn it, Mr. Freeze. <sighs> oh, well. <sighs> See you guys next time when I review another installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's really sad, too, because... Last time I reviewed a movie from uh, my own universe, I had the support of Blednavsky. I mean, sure, he's not from that universe, but at least he, um, but at least he had enough support to get me through it. Who am I gonna get now? Why don't you get someone who is also from that cinematic universe? Ah, hey, you're back! Hey, well, why did you come back? I came back because I also wanted to tell you that that if you want to uh, that if magic fails you with blood of voodoo maybe it will be science that will help you oh right science will help me wait a minute how come you came back just to tell me that and you left earlier implying that you wouldn't tell me anything because i changed my mind holy shit that's contrivance <gasps> I'll see you guys next time! So, um, in two years, you're gonna go meet up with those naked people. Yes, I, 
I, I need a teddy bear first. Will you get two ears? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh that's right. You, you, you collect. Oh, I, I do have two ears. I wonder what I'm going to do for those two years. Well, um, you could uh, become a barbarian again. Ah uh, yes, I am going to become a barbarian. Although there was a guy who was a barbarian already. Uh, while you were that barbarian. No, oh, fuck that guy. That guy can be Aquaman for all I care. Funny enough, you say that. <laughs> 